If you were to draw this creature, what would you bring to the page? What's important to highlight, what isn't? When you're looking at four-legged animals, 90% of the time their pattern is consistent. Look at the head, and then the over, you got the overlap of the neck in front of the head. Uh, you got the overlap of that line of the shoulder. <laughs> See the line of the shoulder yep. in front of the neck? And then the transition into the bellies, and then you go into the hips where the leg comes up, and you got the pelvis and the back legs, and you got the tail. So it's those six elements that I'm always talking about. You know, when you start those films, you already have the general knowledge of, well, this is a four-legged pattern. And then you study the animal enough to understand the anatomy. So like with a grizzly bear, they're huge and heavily muscled in the shoulder and they got lots of blubber on them. So, you know, where a cat, you know, moves really fluid, a grizzly bear goes through the same pattern, but it's, you know, and with, and with each step, you see a, a jiggle in the meat and the fat and all these things. That's what makes a grizzly bear a grizzly bear.